Hello everyone, Jack Flips eBay here. Hope everybody is okay and enjoying their Easter weekend. I certainly am. Just a quick one. This video today is going to be a little bit different to the ones I normally do, but hope you guys enjoy. If you guys have never watched me before, I'm Jack. The name is Jack Flips eBay. <laughs> um, I do eBay and vintage reselling on side of a full-time job. If you guys want to start doing that um, to earn an extra bit of money on the side of your job, please follow and uh, subscribe. You'll soon be able to find out how to do it and hopefully you'll enjoy the videos. Over the last couple of days, I've actually sold five items. So that was yesterday and today's items. Um, it's only 10.30 right now, so it's still early in the day. But I'm going to package up all the items from yesterday and today and take them all to the every store. I know a lot of you guys enjoy looking at my stock room. It's literally in my bedroom at the end of my room, pushed in one corner. But yeah, this is my stock room. This summer, I will be getting a shed. So all of this will be out of here and I'll have a nice room and I can, yeah, relax in my room. First item which has sold is a Spurs football. Um, I got these all for £3 um, and I sold it for £8.99. Second item is that Peppa Pig one just there. So let me just grab that and I'll show you exactly what it is. Yeah, so here it is. It's a Peppa Pig um, flip-up learning pad for kids. So yeah, sold that for £6.99 and I bought that from Aldi, the supermarket, um, for what was it, £1.50? Um, it was 30% uh, off, so decent. Next ones are the Caterpillar Steel Cap Boots. I listed these on eBay for £35.99. Some's offered me £30, so I've just accepted them. I bought these for £4 from the charity shop. So I'll probably just give a bit of a clean on there, and then I'll send them. All right, if any of you guys have been watching me for a while, I like to collect my shoes sometimes. So um, in a Bernardo shop not so long ago, I got two pairs of these Converse. I got one in a size 1 and one in a size 2. Um, I've sold these for £15, so let me just check they're the right ones. Yep, these are the right ones. Size one, good condition, just a bit of stainage on the top. Someone could probably clean them out. I got these for £15. Well, sorry, sold these for £15. Bought these for about £4, so easy. One last thing are some watch straps. I got all of these for free. There's over a thousand in here. Um, my cousin used to basically run a, run a small business selling watch straps. But he gave them to me because he didn't want them anymore, so I've sold five in here. If you're interested, these are the watch straps. They're like NATO watch straps, so you can attach them to like um, Breitling or G-Shock kind of watches. Um, so they're pretty good, to be fair. And I always throw in an extra one just for saying thank you for buying. A lot of people who watch this channel will definitely know who I use to ship through. I use Every and Yodel. Um, but with those, I never use my own shipping supply. I go on to FedEx and I go into UPS and get all my shipping supplies for free. I'll show you. Down here is my goodie drawer. In here, there's all my bags I've got. So I've got loads of UPS shipping supply bags, loads of FedEx supply bags, loads of big boxes, loads of large letter boxes. Um, but yeah, I've got hundreds in here. I've also got reusable padded packs in here with bubble wrap in it. So yeah, I've actually got a video up which will show you exactly how to order all of this for free. If you guys are also wondering what I do with the labels and how I do all of that, um, recently I've bought myself a label printer. Before, if you're just starting off, you can basically get the label and screenshot the QR code and the QR code. When you go into your every store or your Yodel store, which I use, you show them the barcode on your phone and make sure it's the right one. And then they'll basically print off a label for you and stick it on it. Um, that's what I would always recommend to do. But if you're going to go more full time with it and, just, and you're selling more and you think it would just be easier just to do it yourself, get one of these. It's worth it. You guys are also probably wondering, what the hell do I send these big size 12 boots in? Do I send them in a shoe box? Have I got the original box? No, I don't have the original box. I don't send them in a shoe box. I send them in a FedEx bag. This is a reusable large pack. These are very thick, but what I'll do is I'll send them in two. Um, or if you don't want to use two packs, you can put them in a plastic bag, then put them in there. Um, only reason being, they've got very thick rubber soles, and I don't want them piercing through the bag and then ripping and damaging the product. So I'll put them in a plastic bag and then put them in here. And then stick the label on top. I'm not going to show you any of the addresses, but stick that on there like that. That's the label. It's okay with the barcode. You're not going to do anything with that. But that's the barcode. It's on there now. And it's ready for drop-off. As you can probably see, I'm wearing my new t-shirt. This is the new one I got from the charity shop the other day. Um, if you guys are wondering what it looks like on Sanusi and you like your over oversized uh, t-shirt, it's definitely worth it. And the shoe selection for today, um, which ones are they? They're the Bape Stars and they're going on my feet right now. Easy as that. Let's go.
So now you guys are probably wondering, why is this video going to be a bit different to my usual ones? My usual ones, I go to so many charity shops and try and find as many finds as I can. This one, all the charity shops are shut, so I can't. But because it is Easter weekend, I've got to go out and I've got to be able to do something for you guys to create a video. And I know exactly what that is. If you guys have been watching me for long enough, you'll know that I also go into boots clearance sections as well to try and see if there's anything in there. I'm going to hit two boot shops today and I'm also going to list my Polo, which is my second car, on Auto Trader. I know that car's got nothing to do with eBay at all, but it's still money and you guys like to know how to make money. This car I bought in 2018 for 8,500 um, and I can actually sell it now for the same price, if not a little bit more on Auto Trader because the value of the second hand cars I've shot up. So if you're wondering what my car is, which I actually am selling, and if you guys are interested, it's a Polo, Volkswagen Polo. Um, it's done 59,000 miles and perfect condition. So if you guys like the look at it, I'm going to show you the reg, doesn't really bother me at all, but it's in perfect condition, no alloy scrape, scrapes at all. Yeah, that's it. Let's go get it cleaned. Right, so I'm at the every drop-off store. You guys will probably never see my niece before. Say hello. Hi. Um, that's my niece, Lily. Basically, she's coming out for the day with me, so yeah. If you guys are wondering who she is, that's my niece. Um, right, we've got Abby every store now, so let's go. As you can see, different car, but got my gas bottle in there for home base. And in here, I've got all my parcels. So let's go and take them in. Here we go, every store. Let's go in and drop them off. Right, so there's different options there, guys. I'm going for an option five, full valet. So I said it's going to be about an hour. Yeah, so the car's all been fixed, all the bodywork's been done. Um, but now, basically, I just need to list it on Auto Trader. And because I've spent the time and the money to get the car fixed, I want to make sure it's all right. So when I advertise it, I get the most amount of money as I can. Um, so it's actually costing me £70, which is quite a lot. The car's not even that dirty, but I needed basically the seats cleaning. So it's going to be worth it. And if it's not, I'm pretty sure you guys will see me slandering this car wash. <laughs> so whilst we're waiting, we've come into Billing Garden Centre, if you guys know where that is. But... Just having a look around some of this stuff. I always think when I get my own house, I'm always going to want something like this in the garden because I've always thought they're so cool. Do you guys not think that? Look how cool some of those are. They're cool. Yeah, look how cool some of these are. Like a light. With shattered glass. How cool is that? Bit early for Christmas bits, so I think. So I've actually got a pet shop in here as well. So let's go and have a look. Bruno's Pet Store. And there's a parrot up here. Please do not touch any part of me. I'm 25 and a girl. Hello. 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 Hello, Mike. Hello. This is like the reptile thing, but look at that. Hello. They're all on top of each other. Hello. Hello, little ones. There's also a snake there. Look at that. Real? Look at that, yeah. And that. Hello. Hello, Mike. That's not real. Is it? <laughs> look all those little bugs in there. He is ready to attack. They've even got all the fish in here. Look at these. Three ninety nine. Oh, that's for a plant. <laughs> Hello. Look at all those birds up there. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there's one big family. Hello, mate. Hello. Little cutie. There's another one over there. Hello. All right. Because it's a nice sunny day, I thought I'd treat myself to one of these. Slush puppy. The car should be ready any moment now, so I'll show you exactly what it looks like as soon as I get in it. So I'm just going to go refill my gas bottle now, but they've done a pretty good job of the car. Um, when I got there, I asked them to complete other things because for £70 and it, a full valet, you'd expect certain things like under the bonnet to be done, in your boot to be clean, um, and little bits. But, you know, overall, it's clean. Um, one thing he has done, though, he's left the bags on the seat because the seats are soaking wet. Um, it could have at least dried them or whatever, but yeah, I'm not going to be fussy. But it's a lot of money, but you know what? I'll, I'll sell this for hopefully about eight grand. So yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, so let's go into home base and switch the barbecue bottle. Right, here it is. It's a bit heavier than the other one, so I can't swing it up. What a bargain though. Luckily, my mate works for home base in like a different department and they use his discount code. Um, flipping out, it went from £79 to £34. Absolute bargain. <laughs> let's put this in the car um, and let's go into uh, boots clearance. Right, let's go. Boots clearance. Let's see if we can find anything. 
here it is, the clearance section. Let's have a look. It's a pretty healthy one. Some pretty good things here. Let's have a look what these go for then. So I've just had a look. This is 30 quid. Okay now, 30 quid. I'm gonna scan this in and see if I can find anything. No, this one, there's recent comps of about 50 quid, but it's not worth me spending 30 pounds to sell it for 50. After fees, I'd be making about seven quid. And they don't sell a lot, so I'm gonna leave these. Let's go into the other section. Yeah, nothing else in here. I would say get these, but there's only 12 lozenges in there. And um, no, just no, just waste of time in here. So there is some glasses in here, they're three pound. That's what they look like, thanks model. No, be leaving those as well. Right, so we're running out of boots. Um, that boots was crap. Um, there was literally only one clearance section in there. Usually there's two, but there's only one in there. Um, so we've come to um, Western Fable. Western Fable has another boots as well. So we'll go in there, let's see what happens. And I've just dr driven past the um, uh, charity shops near here and they're all open. So we're gonna go in them as well. Right, boots clearance. Let's see if see what's in it right here it is it's quite a lot here quite a lot here quite a lot here so let's scan some stuff in and see if i can make any money on it oh this section is not too bad this is six pound i can probably sell up for about 15 pound um there's been recent comps for 13 15 and 17 pound for that so i might get that this one here though five pound for that like look how cheap that is five pound um, I've just scanned it in and it goes for about £17.50 um, and they're selling all the time so I'm going to get that and just so you guys know I'm going to leave that not enough money in that for me see this one's 3 50 because that was about a tenner but there's only one sold this year this is that one so I'm going to leave it another clearance section here there's a hair dryer but there's that I'm going to get that I think I'm just going to scan that one in and there's one there as well so I'm just going to have a look at these yeah, so funny enough, I'm actually going to leave that. That has recently sold for 40 quid, same price. This recently sold for £23. And there's two diesel ones as well, £19 each. They're only 30 mil. Um, yeah, they don't go for much either, but I am going to get that. And there's that, and I'm going to leave it. So only thing I'm getting is this. And that's decent profit. It was for £5. The lady's given it to me for 4 I'm not sure why, but she said, oh, I'll give you a pound off. So happy days, even more profit. Right, so all three charity shops are open. Let's go in and let's actually have a look. Right, Bernardo's, the best one in town. Let's have a look. Oh, that's pretty cool. Fat face, quarter zip. It is, how much is this? £4.25, let's have a look. No, recent comps are listed £9, so I'm gonna leave that. I'm not gonna buy these, but I don't think I've ever seen Tesco value jeans before. What the hell? They're £3 and sell them for a quid. <laughs> Never seen them. Oh, look how cool that is, £3.50. Bruce Wayne on the back. <laughs> gonna leave it though. Just seeing that, £12, but I'm gonna leave it because comps do sell for like 18 but it's not worth picking it up. It's a big item to store and not enough profit. See this here, I don't know if it's working or not, but it would be worth the risk if it was £5. It's £10, it's an old typewriter. Um, I don't know if it's working or not. These go for about £30, but probably worth picking it up but i don't know if it's working so i'm gonna leave it drop in the comments if you reckon i should buy that but we might be here another time 10 pounds for that it's pretty cool i'll probably keep it myself if i'm being honest but mm, no i'm gonna leave it all right there was nothing in that one i normally get loads of stuff in there um two more charity shops we've got a smaller bernardo's which is a kid's one and then we have a deborah let's go in let's go in the kids one let's go Oh, it's closed. We've just missed out. Oh, well. But we've got Deborah. Let's go in and have a look. I can always rely on you. So in here, all of these jackets and coats have already been in here for a long time. There's shorts starting to come out now. But it's starting to get a bit more summery. Clocks change soon. Um, but I'll have a look through any of this stuff and the jeans and I'll show you if I find anything. So I'm looking through the shirts and there's, there's no designer bands in here at all. They're all next. It's been absolutely rammed in here. I can see loads of people have bought loads of stuff. Have a look at the jeans. Look at this, eh? Scanner, don't know and clue what it is, guessing it's tracks you're running. Looks all good. There's a little bit of rusting going on there. It's brand new though, £1.80. Set it for about 25 quid, so easy money. I was gonna get this, but new ones go for about 25 quid. Used ones go for about 10, and it's six quid. So gonna leave that. 
if you guys know your bits, this is like a blood pressure machine for when you walk in. Um, it's £2.50. Could have sold it for about 30 quid, but the back's missing. So I'm going to leave it. Some of you guys might have just got that anyway, just because of how much money it is, but I don't really want to sell it without the back, so I'm going to leave it. There's that as well, £10. Going to leave that, but what has taken my eye is a Wii Fit. It's £5. Let me see if it's worth it. Yeah, so we fit board there. Could probably sell this about 15, 16, 17 quid. Um, I'm assuming it's working, so I'm going to probably take that. Um, let me just check if it's with it. I think they're battery powered anyway. This probably would still uh, work, but there's acid burn on that, so I'm not going to get it because. I don't want to, I don't have a Wii at home anymore and I'm not going to be able to try it, so I'm going to leave it. Well, I'm going to get these. These are brand new. Um, £6, size 7, Crocs sandals. Easy. Easy 25 quid. So the chat shops were okay. Um, there was a bit of profit to be made in there. Um, the two items I picked up in the last shop um, was definitely worth it. I can definitely make some good money on that. Um, but I was really surprised that the shops were actually open. I thought they were going to be shut. But hey -o, let's go back i'll show you what i've got how much money i can sell them for and uh i'm gonna list my car on auto trader so this is the car it is looking very clean to be fair um the guys told me to leave all the aircon on to let all the seats dry because the main thing was i wanted all the seats to basically be cleaned because they had water stains on them and to be fair it's gonna done a good job but i'm just hoping they don't dry all patchy like that that's still wet so i'm hoping that dries if not I'm not going to be happy but apart from that he's done a pretty decent job if i'm being honest he's done a decent job for 70 quid so yeah um that's all that now let me show you what i found in the charity shop i'm just going to whiz through all the items i have got today um i do appreciate today's video is a little bit different to usual um but at least i managed to actually go into some charity shops i thought they were all going to be shut as soon as I drove past and saw they were open, I was so happy. <laughs> um, I was speaking with my niece. I was like, wow, they're actually open. So yeah, let's go in them. So went in them. Um, didn't find the best of stuff, but I believe those charity shops there, I've been to the last three times I've made a video now and they're a bit saturated for me. So next video, we're going to be going somewhere a lot different um, and hopefully we'll find more bargains. The first item which I found today um, were some Crocs. We've actually the last, but you know, the first one I'm gonna go through on here. Um, so these are Crocs, it's like sandals. Um, these are pretty much brand new. I'm gonna list them as brand new because there's no marks on them at all. Brand new without tags. I got these for six pound, I'll show you. Six pound if you can see. Um, and these actually resell for anywhere between 20 and 30 pounds so easy i've already had some of these before and i managed to flip them for some good money so these are definitely worth it if you ever see any out just like the croc sandals next i got from the uh, boots clearance it cost me five pound it is the Raymon um p20 like sun cream um uv protector it was five pound but the lady actually said to me oh you know what you can have it for four this wasn't in a charity shop, this was in Boots, so <laughs> not quite sure why she wanted to give me a pound off, maybe because it's like around Easter time, I don't know, but yeah, decent, absolutely decent. Uh, we had to sell these for about £17.50 to about £20, so that's some good money on that, some good money, and they sell like literally all the time. On to the next item here, uh, the last item I got, this was £1.80 from Deborah. yeah, if you can see that, £1.80 from Deborah. it is a running heart rate monitor kind of thing i'm not quite sure what it is i buy anything which i can make money on as you can see there if you can see it um it's brand new there was something which i was a little bit skeptical of i have a back here it looks like there's a battery and it looks like it's a little bit rusty around it so i'm not sure if it is brand new or not but it's all in the packaging and it's got the original staples there so i'm not quite sure if it is but anyway these go for about 20 to 25 pound um so i'm gonna put all the comps up here so you'll be able to see i didn't buy many things today but as you can see i have actually made quite a bit of money and i've actually been quite productive today so i know i haven't gone on a massive shopping spree today but at least i've managed to list my uh car on auto trader i'm going to show you the advert right now that is that actually managed to probably make over about 50 quid 
um, in profit today, just from literally doing a couple of couple of jobs, going to a couple of places, put myself out there for about an hour, hour or two, um, and it's definitely worth it. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, throw that thumbs up as well, because every like and every comment, comments especially as well, every time you comment, it pushes it out my video to so many different people. That's also good for me, but for you guys as well, the more views I get, the more videos I'm going to put out. Ultimately, that's it just motivates me like that. Um, and also, the more views it gets, the more comments it gets, it will go out to more people, and the more people will get to learn of how to make easy money. At the end of the day, it's easy money going into a charity shop and reselling it on eBay. Easy. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I do apologise today. It's been a bit of a funny video, but hope you guys enjoyed it. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Let's go!